friends, thanks for joining. It's almost the end of summer and Kant and I wanted to try one more delicious summer treat. When we think summer, we think lemon. So today we're making Trisha Yearwood's lemon squares. And today you have both Kat and I in the kitchen, so we're gonna have some fun today. Okay, so the lemon squares love. I know Gina was gonna be excited because my girl loves her lemon. So there's two parts to it. We're gonna make the crust and then we're gonna make the yummy filling. First up is the crust. Okay, so we're just gonna melt our butter for a couple, like a minute or so, and then we're gonna be ready to make our yummy crust. So first we're gonna add our two cups of flour into a larger bowl and then some confectioner sugar. So I looked it up because I'm like, is confectioner sugar the same as powdered sugar? And kind of, so confectioner sugar has a little added, I think cornstarch to it, so that it helps when you add it to something and it doesn't like soak right into your cake. But if you don't have it, powdered sugar works just fine. Okay. There's not much to this crust. When I think crust, I think I like graham crackers. Right? I know. I was kind of disappointed. I, know. I thought so too. And then our melted butter, which we're going to drizzle right in. Drizzle, drizzle. Then fold. Ah, see what I did there? So now you take your 9 by 13 pan, and if you have it, spray some of your best friend Pam on there. And then we're going to put our dough in. Okay. So press it firmly onto your pan. I could do that. So Trisha Yearwood, as we all know, is a famous country singer, songwriter, author, married to Garth Brooks. And that's all I know. <laughs> oh, this just in, she has a Food Network show. All right, into the oven it goes, 350 for 25 minutes. See you in 25. No, just kidding. In the meantime, we're going to make the filling. Step two. Start part two, the filling. So for the filling, let's start off with four fresh eggs, two tablespoons of lemon peel and five tablespoons of lemon juice. So more yellow, yellow and yellow. Two cups of sugar. Don't think about it too much. Just do what it says, throw it in, move on. Next is, what do I have in here? Salt baking powder, and a tablespoon of flour. You ready? You ready to beat me with my arm? I am. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we got like 20 minutes left. What do we do? <laughs> my filling is done, but don't tell Gina. I'm gonna sneak in just a little bit more lemon zest. There's nothing worse than having lemon squares, lemon bars that's not lemony enough. So don't tell her. So when we do her taste test, mine will be extra tart. Pour it all over a crust. Oh, I just licked it. Yeah, I've eaten worse. Oh. <laughs> Back in the oven it goes. But remember, pan is still hot. So get your oven mitts and then put it in the oven. Well, what does yours look like? It looks like creme brulee. What? <laughs> How does yours look like creme brulee? Because I burned it. How can you burn it? We set the timer, 20 minutes. We talked about a time when we'd get back together because we were gonna let it cool. I started multitasking. So I started making dinner for my kids and I actually forgot that I had a dessert. The next step might save you is we're gonna dust it with some powdered sugar. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful. Love it. Gina, I cannot believe this. Do you remember our last? I can't either. Do you remember I our actually have not done that. Mishap? What was the last one? Oh yeah. No, I've never done this before. Oh, no. <laughs> this has never happened. bird cake. Do you remember that one? <laughs> Let's try this lemon bar slash lemon square by Miss Trisha Yearwood. All right. It's a little soft. Maybe it needs to set overnight or go in the fridge, but it didn't say to do that. Okay, I had to switch over right. to a fork because it was a little gooey. Mm. But 
it's very lemony confession i ended up zesting one more lemon so i did three lemon zest mm. and i'm so glad i did because it finally has that punch i'm looking for i think it mine is lemony and it was enough i didn't feel like i don't feel like i need more really and my crust is chewy almost caramelly in a bad way so it's just sticking in my teeth and this is just really not really good mm -hmm. <laughs> my crust is amazing and i'm not saying it because gina doesn't have a good crust it's a really good consistency so yum all right guys two thumbs up from me gina would have given it two thumbs up if she set her timer but she still got the full flavor effect and it is delicious and so easy you have most of this stuff in your house already so make it today you will not regret it it's got a punch it's delicious but thanks for joining us this week make sure you like and subscribe and we will see you guys again next week bye not following directions if I could give you a bite through the lens, I would.